All right, so I would like to welcome everybody to this call. Today we are going to, I'm going to go over this pretty fast. So while you are paying attention, I need you guys to take notes, unmute yourself if you have a question. And these calls are timed. I don't have the upgraded Zoom, so typically it kicks you off anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but I'm going to try to do it in 30 minutes because I know everybody has a really um, busy life. I am recording this, but, um, you know, technology sometimes it records, sometimes it doesn't, but it's very important to get on live calls. Um, there's so many different trainings and so many different things that, you know, it's kind of like goes back to that, well, maybe I'll do it later kind of thing, and then you can fall behind. But at the same time, we always tell you guys that, you know, do what you can do to help yourself be successful. But one of the things that I find um, a lot of new coaches do is you decide that, okay, well, I'm going to do some work right now. So you jump on Facebook, you check your groups, you comment on everybody's stuff, you get off Facebook, you spend an hour and a half, you've made no money, and how have you moved your business forward, okay? I even find myself doing that. Um, when I jump on the computer in the beginning of the day, I'll jump on and I'll do, because you guys are in Coach Basics, most of you, um, but I'll do Coach Basics, I'll do Pathway to Emerald, then I'll do all, like seven groups to comment before I know four hours have gone by. I still haven't done invites. I still haven't started building new relationships. And here I am, you know, five hours has gone by and I've done nothing to really move my own personal business forward. Um, I'm just helping my downline. So the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is if you can read that book called Eat That Frog, um, that's great because the hardest thing for me that I always put off is actually doing those follow-ups, talking to people, getting out of my comfort zone, and actually um, quote unquote sealing deals and doing business that way. So um, that's one thing that I would suggest doing first. So I made a little outline here, and I don't know if it's gonna let you see it. Hold on one second. Of course, can you see my um, like Word document right now? Just give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Yes, okay. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to get the Coach Codes app. Okay, so you wanna write this down. Coach Codes app. It's on, it's on um, for a smartphone, so if you have an iPhone, smartphone. If you don't, it's okay. Just message me about it later, and I'll tell you another way to do it. But it looks like this. It's the blue one. Not the one with the run numbers on it, but it looks like that. It's teal, okay? So you want to get that first and foremost because there's been many times where I've given people my link, those steps that we have created for you on that old invite document, like create a free profile, then click shop, then go to the left, select challenge packs. People mess that up all the time. So if you put your um, coach ID in the coach codes, if somebody says, hey, I want the 21 day fix, you go ahead and you send them that code. I never, ever, ever, like I don't, none of my customers even know really that you can get the 21 day fix without Shakeology because I have coaches that just, you know, you're gonna move your business forward by selling challenge packs, bottom line, okay? So um, I always just give people the, the direct link to me that's the challenge pack, you know what I mean? Because if they go in and search on the website and just buy the 21 day fix, they're gonna end up getting Shakeology later anyway, so you might as well just make it a challenge pack. So that's the first thing. Another thing that I'm gonna show you really quick that you need to do daily, and if any moment, I always say you need to do this daily, so, um, you know, it just depends how big you want to build this. I'm building a six-figure income here, so I, I'm i doing things, um, I guess, in extreme, but it depends what you want to get out of it, so don't freak out or whatever. Like, whatever you want to get out of this, you can get out of it, but I'm like, you have to do this, you have to do this, so excuse me if I'm a little um, forceful with my, you, sh you have to do these things, but anyway. So the first thing I do is, um, I don't know how to get rid of those pop-ups. Okay, so 20 invites a day. Now this is what I do. I'm going to show you really quick um, what I do. I'm going to pop my um, Facebook up really quick. And one of the things that I do, well, the first thing that I did, hold on, is I, um, the first thing that I did was I printed out my Facebook list, okay, all of my friends, okay, and I go through my Facebook friends, and anybody that's not a coach, 
I invite to my challenge. Okay, so I print them off. I take a handful every day and I do about 20 of those really easy. Okay, now what I say to them and I'm going to send you guys this um, in a little bit, but basically um, I'll just show you an example of what I say to them is I say, hey, so I know this is random, but I have a health and fitness Facebook group for women. We all cheer each other on with our fitness goals, post healthy foods, workouts, and are looking for more women to join the movement. Are you interested? Okay. Um, another thing is, is if, if any, at any point you can't see what I'm sharing, please tell me because sometimes I do these calls and then people, you know, don't see any of my stuff. So um, basically I share you know, that's what I say to people when I invite them. Okay. So that's really simple. Where'd everybody go? Are you guys all there? There you are. Okay. So I say that to them. Okay. Um, Hey, I know this is random, blah, blah, blah. So if you have like a thousand Facebook friends, you can do 20 of those people a day. You have to get out of your comfort zone because some of the people you're going to be like, Hey, you know, that girl hated me in the first grade. So I'm kind of shy. I don't want to invite her. Okay. They're either going to say yes, or they're going to say no. Not a big deal. If they don't say anything, don't ask them again. Like every time I invite somebody, I just go ahead and archive it after. If they're going to say something, it's going to pop back up. I can't deal with all that crap in my mailbox. It stresses me out. Okay. So um, that's the first thing that I do as I went through all my friends. Now, when I first started, I had like 200 Facebook friends. Okay. So another thing that I do is I went and I joined mom groups. Okay. So for example, I did Greenville moms, Greenville moms. This is where I live in South Carolina. Okay. I joined their group. Now this is kind of crazy about what I'm doing, but this is how you find people. There's 1,121 members. Okay. I go ahead and I friend 20 people a day. So I just go one, two, just, I mean, you know, in a perfect world, you're going to really read about them, find out what you have in common, but, you know, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, so say I friend 20 people, okay? So I join different groups. I also search local gyms. Planet Fitness, they're building new ones everywhere in my town. There's one right around the corner, which is highly likely that we have mutual friends. So say there's five people that liked this. We have a mutual friend, so they're likely to add me, but I don't add men because I don't know what to say to men. I get like, you know, it never works out well. So um, I just um, stick with women because that's my niche. So I find local areas, okay? Another thing that you can do to increase your friends is I go to, I have to move you guys over. My screen looks different than you. Hopefully you can all see my Facebook, but I go find friends. And then over here, I'm going to do my hometown is Gloversville, New York. So I've already pretty much ran through um, Gloversville, but so this is my hometown. These are people that I have mutual friends with. So now I'm going to friend people in my town. Okay. Another thing that I'm going to do is my local town I live in now, Simpsonville. Now, I, I searched the Greenville moms, so I'm friending those people. Now, I'm not friends with Jamie, but we have, um, you know, 10 mutual friends. I'm going to friend her, her, and her. Well, I don't want to friend him. Okay, so I friend people that way. You can also do your college, universities, big corporations and towns. I do expensive um, nutrition shops, expensive gyms. I do hospitals, nurses, things like that. Now, that brings me to my next thing. Do I post on my Facebook wall? Um, well, uh, someone, someone who just joined a couple of people, if you guys can um, mute yourself really quick, that would be awesome. Um, so the next thing that I do is I go to, if you're just jumping on, hopefully you um, saw what I was doing. And Heather, can you still see my Facebook screen? Okay. So the next thing that I do is I've just showed you how I find people. Um, local gyms, I find those people. I join mom groups. Um, 
um, uh, you know, whatever, like Whole Foods, things like that. Different places, Babies Are Us, okay? Um, you know, if there's uh, 62 people that liked this post, I'm gonna go ahead and friend a handful of those people, okay? Now, like I was saying, the reason that I post on my Facebook wall every morning is not because I'm trying to be like, hey, look at me, work out, and you know. Oh crap, I didn't know I posted that one. I was gonna do that one later. Um, I'm gonna delete that. I didn't really mean to post that one. That was one for later. Okay, so now I'm posting on my Facebook wall every morning, okay? When I get up, I post a morning workout post, okay? So anytime you make a post on Facebook, say you are working out in the gym, say you are um, working out outside, whatever you're doing, don't just write something like, just did my 21 day fix workout, you know, whatever. I always try to tell a story with my post, whether it's about somebody in the third grade that upset me, the day that I'm having where I'm winning the day or maybe I'm failing the day. And then somehow I tie Beachbody into that, okay? So here it is like an example of a post. Now mine, some of them are really long. Did I wake up at five in the morning and write this post? No, I did not. I wrote these on Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings, what am I talking about? Sometime over the weekend so that I have stuff that I post even though I'm getting up and working out in the morning, I have content and things to post that I prepare ahead of time, okay? So a sample post, I just wanna jump out of my skin. You know it's annoying when people um, don't support your grind and some people just don't get it and that's okay. People change and that's that. I no longer want to build someone else's dream, that's a fact. I am just a girl that decided to change, blah, 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 paying it forward. Why are some people so unsupportive? Because honestly, they see something, um, you know, Whatever. I'm just talking about how people can be unsupportive. Um, but at the same time, while I'm talking about people being unsupportive, I'm talking about how I've also created a beautiful, loving, amazing team that celebrates each other's success, never judges people, um, and makes people feel like I have felt for years. So I'm talking about, I'm putting it out there that I'm pissed, but I'm also doing what at the same time? I'm showing people that my challenge not only um, represents not only represents fitness and weight loss, it also represents pulling people together for unity, support, and it's a family, okay? So if I'm making a post about Shakeology, I'm drinking my Shakeology, I'm talking about how I, how I feel better, not that it's on sale or you're salesy, okay? So um, the reason that I am posting every day on my wall, let me get back to that. Now I friended all those people, right? That's bringing more exposure to my wall. If you're posting to the same 200 friends every day, you're spinning your wheels and you're not gonna get anywhere. You're not, okay? All those people that knew you maybe from your past or maybe put self-doubt in your mind, things like that, you know, it's gonna take them a while to jump on board. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know your guys' background. But, um, you know, I post because all those new people, it increases exposure to my wall. Um, you know, and then try to change it up. Like size right now is the number one infomercial in the, in the world, okay? So even if you can't dance, like do a funny size routine, you know? Like if you don't have it, like look it up on YouTube. I'm sure somebody recorded themselves. Like you only need to do 10 seconds. Um, um, you know, and then just try to change it up. Like you're not, you are not Beachbody, so don't write about Beachbody all the time. It's annoying and people are gonna wanna block you. So I have the same system that I do morning motivation, something about my kids, you know, something about my life, um, an objection or something like that. Now in your coach groups, this is really good. Um, this is my coach group right here. But you know, what should you be um, posting about? Like, how do I know what to post? So on Mondays, never miss a Monday, common objections. My post for tomorrow is already written up about common objections. Shakeology is too expensive. So my whole post is about, yeah, you could buy cheap protein anywhere. You know, why? You, of course you can go to GNC and buy protein to put in your body because it's got the same components in it that is used to hold tires together. Like how unhealthy is that? So I, I, I'm gonna shop around for shoes, but I'm not gonna shop around for protein. You, you pay for what you get. 
So think about all those objections people give you and then tie it into a post that's meaningful. Make sense? Um, and then like real easy Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday, quote of a challenger. Like Heath doesn't know this yet. If, I think he's on the call. Like um, I'm going to celebrate him. Yep. He lost a lot of weight. I hijacked his profile picture and I'm using that this week. Thanks, Heath. Um, so yep. be funny. Like I'm not funny. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm funny, but like I make a post about dancing while my Shakeology is mixing and I do something stupid. Flex Friday, Shakeology recipe, um, keep it light on the weekends, Fridays, people just can't deal with it. Okay. Change up your post. Um, follow the top coaches, you know, follow the top coaches and see what they're doing. Don't copy what they're doing. But, you know, she's talking about, have you ever spent $140 on something useless? Why not invest it in yourself? Recreate your own post about that. Um, she does herself dancing, puts it in slow motion, you know? Just see what the top coaches are doing and like, they know what they're doing. Like, it helps you come up with ideas, okay? All right, so, found people, um, okay. I jump around, sorry. So now I've friended all these people. I go to my recently added. I have no idea who these people are. So they're really gonna watch this on YouTube and be like, stalker. Um, if anyone ever finds my notebook of names, they're gonna be like, why is my name in that women's notebook? Um, okay. So all of these people have, do not know me and they've accepted my friend request today. Thank you very much, people. Okay, so now what am I gonna do with all these names? Okay, I'm going to go to her page and I'm going to like some of her photos. I write down all of those recently added people. I like their photos. Have I invited them yet? No, and, on, and you wanna make sure you read them because then you look like a cyber stalker. So you read them, you um, do what you know you should be doing, and then you comment on a couple of them. So after I write down their names, I'm like giving you like, the, oh, look, someone else added. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, so I write down all their names and then I write next to it on a piece of paper that I commented, I commented on their photo, I liked their photo, okay? Just on a sheet of paper, I know that I did that. Then I'm going really fast, guys. I'm going to create an interest group. I click interest. I'm gonna add an interest. Now this is a hypothetical group, it's not really a group. I'm gonna put May, I'm gonna create the list. And friends. And then all those people that were recently added, I'll pretend it's these people, okay? So I'm gonna put them in the group. It's not really a group. It's like a hypothetical place. I'm gonna name this May Ads. And then I'm going to put only me because you don't want them to know they're in there. Every morning when I post on social media, my post is going to automatically go to the top of their newsfeed. I'm subliminally messaging them without them even knowing it about my products, my journey, my fitness, my grind. Right? Right. Okay. Um, you can message me after if you don't understand interest groups and I will send you a video on how to do that. So write that down if you need a, a breakdown of how to do that. Okay. So now, I found all of these people. Now, in the interest group for a week, I'm gonna like their photos, comment on their things. They're also being subliminally messaged that my post is going to their top of their newsfeed, but if I'm not posting on my Facebook wall, it's not gonna matter, okay? Next week, I am going to say, hey girl, I know this is random, if I feel like they would be a good fit, because how am I gonna know? Like, I'm not just asking anyone to be a coach, I do not do that, and I do not ask anyone to join my challenges, okay? I'll be the first to tell you that. So, um, in the beginning I started to, but like, if you have to convince people to join your challenge and convince people to join you in this business, you're gonna be convincing them the rest of your life and it's exhausting and stressful. So, don't do it. Um, okay. So you, um, then I go to that message, you know, I know this is random. I'm starting a 21 day fix group. Would you be interested? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to, um, hold on a second. Let me, um, pull up my notes. Okay. Cause the notes are important. All right. 
I'm not going to go over Instagram right now. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Okay. So now um, I've done 20 of those a day. You have the Coach Codes app, which we talked about, 20 invites a day. We've talked about the interest group. We've talked about posting on your wall, make them meaningful, you know, things like that. All right, now, on social media, you have made your post, okay? Here is an example of just one that you could do. Help, I need some help staying accountable. I'm starting a 21-day fixed group. Workouts are 30 minutes. It comes with a meal plan, containers, blah, blah, blah. Would you be interested, okay? That is kind of like if you don't know what to post. But say you're just posting about your workout, posting about something like that. And people, because now you've, you've, you've asked all these people to be your friends, you've liked their stuff, they're going to start liking your stuff. But it's going to take a while to build that up, okay? Then um, if somebody likes it, I always say, hey, I saw that you, can you guys all see my Word document? Okay. Now somebody liked my post, I'm gonna say, hey, I saw you liked my post about my 21 day fix challenge, or you liked my workouts, or you liked my Shakeology post, whatever, make it your own. Would you want more information on this? Okay. Now you can, the people that you recently added, you can say, hey girl, I know this is random, would you like to join my um, fitness group? Or if somebody likes your photos or your post, you can also say, hey, I saw you liked my post, blah, 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 okay? I never lead with the fact that I'm putting people in my 21 day fix group. I lead with the joining my free group first and I'll show you how I do that in a second, okay? Don't wait more than 48 hours to respond. Hey, I don't want you to miss out, um, you know, are you interested in joining, blah, 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 okay? Um, all right, so that's one thing that you can do. Hold on, because I gotta um, message myself something that's important that I want to um, tell you guys. Heather, I'm on the call, but I mean, okay. Um, hold that one second. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys all to death, but I just gotta email myself this important thing. Um, Okay, so um, these are people, like if you print out your friend list of what you can say to people on Facebook, hey, I just wanted to reach out to you. I'm not sure if this is something you'd be interested in, but I'm starting a 21 day fix challenge or 21 day fitness challenge. I also have a free group. Would you be interested in learning about it? Things like that, you know, just asking people if they want to, to join, okay? The first thing that you are going to get is a money objection. It's going to happen every single time. There's books written about the main objections. Money, time, and there's another one, but I don't even know what it is. I just get money and time, like, all the time. So say um, somebody's nice, and they're like, yeah, give me more information. You, you do not, and I repeat, do not send to people when they say they want more information don't say hey great here's some videos about the 21 day fix shakeology let me know what you think you've killed yourself you've killed your business you've killed your lead okay what you say to them is would it be okay with you if i've asked you a few questions okay what are some of your fitness goals and they'll say hey i will i want to lose 20 pounds well how would it make you feel if you've lost 20 pounds why do you want to lose 20 pounds? How long have you struggled with nutrition? How, how long, you know, what have you tried before in the past? Has it worked? Has it not worked? Okay. Because the biggest misconception about people when they want to lose weight is that they need to eat less food. And that's not how it works. The 21 day fix works because um, it gives you the right combinations of food. You need to eat the certain combinations of food. And that's how you lose weight because you need to eat more, which is crazy. I still struggle with that. Um, sometimes I'm like, God, I ate so much food today. I'm going to gain so much weight, but I'm not because I ate healthy and I ate clean and I ate, you know, my containers. Okay. So that is called forming. Okay. Building those relationships with people. You want to, um, I can't remember, um, first for four, it's F O R N, but it's like, what do you do for work occupation? Um, you want to hear about them and what they want. The last one is M then you give them your message. If you jump right in and throw the message at them, they're gonna cut you off. How much is it, 140? Are you crazy? Like how am I gonna buy this like weight loss thing for $140? Especially women and moms because they don't wanna take, they feel guilty about like everything all the time. 
they're just gonna like say see ya okay so you want to connect with them build that relationship with them and then once they have verbalized why and why it's important then you give them your message okay um, everything is written out here for you um, you know they're like well what's in it and you say well DVDs you know the one with the little containers you can just you know highlight and um, paste that and then um, you know there's things like that now another thing I want to show you is because that document can be very overwhelming Carrie um, Steelman who is awesome and um, is on my team created these simple can you see my Facebook okay created these simple effective steps which if you want them just of course it doesn't want to show them to me because that would be too easy hold on a second um, she created these simple effective steps and my Facebook wants to spin thing uh, okay Wait a second. of course okay anyway um, I can just go ahead and read them to you from my phone but basically um, let me just try one more time because this is kind of important hold on do you guys ever like Facebook yourself like a message I don't know if you do that but I do uh, I store all my stuff like I Facebook myself <laughs> um, okay it doesn't want to let me just try one more time okay um, it's not gonna let me do it right now but basically I'll post these in the group but basically um, it just says you know about the 21 day fix she made a video that was the inside of her last challenge specifically to show people about what the challenge looks like from the inside it's awesome okay so I can show you that video um, of what a 21 day fix challenge looks like and then um, about the 21 day fix the Tony Horton video it's like two minutes about if you were to make your own shake it would cost you know $60 to make one shake um, that's a great video and I'll send you these um, simple effective steps um, we only have about 10 more minutes left, so I want to know what questions you guys have. I was going to go over, um, hold on, let me just show you this because it'll only take me one minute. Instagram. If it'll even do it. You got to love when you try to show people stuff on a computer and you're like, look, it's really cool and then it doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to give up on that. But um, basically what I want you guys to do is make sure that when you um, make sure that on your Instagram, do you guys all have, do you guys all have Instagram? You guys can unmute yourselves if you want to. Yeah. Okay. On your Instagram, you want to make sure that you have your Facebook profile. Like, I don't even know if you can, you probably can, you, yeah, you can see mine right there. But like my Facebook link is at the bottom, okay? So as you're posting on Facebook and then you're posting on Instagram, I'm gonna go over this call, but your Facebook link's on the bottom so that people can friend you, okay? You can also make up in Google um, app, apps or something, I don't remember what it is, but you can make a co coaching application. So I put like join my team in an arrow, it's like on SurveyMonkey, so that people can apply to join my Facebook team. Michelle Katz is making one of those right now for us which is awesome. And then you can run Instagress, which is an auto robot that likes photos for you all day on Instagram, generates followers, these people send you leads, you know, you create the, you, you recreate the process, okay? This business is not hard, but you basically have to discipline your discipline is what I like to say. You know, it's not an apple, five apples on Sunday that's gonna keep you healthy, it's an apple a day. And that's the best way that I can describe this. If you only have 30 minutes, don't I don't even let myself look on my newsfeed anymore because I'm like wow Sally got a new dog and look at cute Jimmy's daughter's little hair bow and then two hours have gone by and I've done nothing okay so um, stick to the plan do your invites post on your wall if you're limited in time all the fluff will happen later okay? um, so what questions do you guys have did I go really really fast <laughs> 
I'm like, okay, go, ready, go. <laughs> so do you follow up with every single person that accepts your friend requests and stuff? Um, or just kind of like? Yeah. Um, everybody that accepts my friend requests, I don't know where my notebook is right now. Sometimes my husband moves my notebook and he thinks he's funny and he's like, ha ha, hit your notebook. <laughs> but it's this little piece of paper and um, I write down everybody that accepted my friend request. I like all their photos. I do 20 a day. Well, sometimes I do more because I'm kind of a psycho lately because I'm trying to get to, um, I'm a star diamond right now, but I'm trying to get to elite. So I like everybody's photos. I comment on something. I put them in an interest group. A week later, I invite them. They want information or they don't. And then I do those simple effective steps that I can't get to pull up that I want to show you. Okay. And that's all I do over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> now, but don't overwhelm yourself. Like, um, if 20 is kind of a lot, do five. Yeah, I just, it's totally out of my comfort zone to just go through randomly. Yeah, people. <laughs> it really is. And you know what, like, one day I said to myself, you know what, because I am like, really shy. Like, <laughs> I really am. Like, I've gotten a lot better. I was so scared to do this, but I wanted to change more than I wanted to stay the same. So one day I realized I was going to have to do it afraid. Because I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna feel better about doing it. I had to just, you know, if, as long as they didn't look like an axe murderer, I was gonna friend them. You can put them on like, I put all my photo albums of my kids on um, private. And then when I add people I don't know, I make them an acquaintance. So if I'm posting that I'm at the park on Third Street with my kids all alone, you know, I put everyone can see but acquaintances. Okay. Change your privacy setting, you know, but only do like five a day because I mean, honestly, the law of averages, and I've said this to people before, if you plant a thousand seeds in a field and a bunch of birds come along and carry, you know, 900 seeds away, a hundred of them are going to grow. It's the compound effect. You know, that book that we yeah. all, first, it's going to happen. So you do five a day, you're going to, you know, I'm doing, I get success club between 10 and 16 every month. But I didn't just get lucky or I'm really good at it. I have the same piece of paper you guys do. I just do a lot of it. Okay. <laughs> you know? So I would do five a day, five friend requests a day, five invites a day. That's going to give you 25. You'll probably sell one out of it. 25 a week. You know, probably about that will get you a success club five. Convert one of them to a coach one month, one to a coach the next month. Because before people shake ology bills, you want them to do it for the discount, right? Like, mm -hmm. then you're going to have a coach on your right. You're going to have a coach on your left. You know, I don't make money in this business because I sell a lot of Shakeology. I make money in this business because I built a downline. I hit Success Club 5. I get two free infomercial customers a week from Success Club 5. Success Club 10 gives me home, home uh, Shakeology leads. I convert them to coaches and I fill in the spots. And it's just how you build the residual income over time. Um, and it's hard. It's just, you know, one of those things that you're just going to have to say, you know what? Um, and if you, if you run an honest game and you do your workouts, you post about it, you share from your heart, your story and your struggles, people are going to respect that. And people are going to want to join you. You know, people don't join me because they're like, man, I really want to drink Shakeology. No, they join because they like me and I've supported them and they want to be a part of this, not they want to buy some little Tupperware that they could, you know, find the drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they, I'm, <laughs> I'm like recording this and Beachbody's going to be like, fire. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, put, I put my story up and people started to find me and message me and it made it a lot easier. Yeah. To, uh, manage that kind of stuff and Instagram has really blown up since I put my before and after picture in and oh yeah like that, so. and you got to you got to be true to yourself I, of course I can't get my Facebook to come up because that's what we need right now but look at your look at your Facebook like do you look like you're want to change lives or do you you know or do we not really sure if you're trying to like steal my firstborn? like you got to look at your message and what you're, I didn't say that because of your page. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I had a profile picture that says, Hey, uh, you're kind of scaring people away. You want to change that? I was like, Dude, you're scaring people away here. Fix this stuff. No, but it's little things like look at yourself, what you're doing, what you're putting out there. And you know, um, 
and you know, I didn't get this over time. Like it took me six months to sell my first challenge pack. If you guys aren't friends with my sister, Alyssa, you need to add her. She's like the rock star in everything. Like she had already burned through the warm market. She was awesome at it. I was comparing myself to her and I'm never going to be able to do this. And I'm the overweight, you know, sister that's going to be poor forever. All that stuff in your mind just it's the best of you and you're like, how am I going to do this? And then one day you realize you're just going to do it. Even if you like suck at it, it's all written out for you. <laughs> like you can't mess it up. <laughs> you, know? you just got to discipline your discipline and get it done. You know? So, um, okay. What else? You guys are like, how do I quit? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you know, uh, you don't have to do everything, you know, all in the same day. If you know nothing, do some invites, post on your wall. That's it. Look, do a little bit as you go. Okay. But you got to have that mindset and be here a year from now because um, you're not going to get rich overnight. But if you keep moving forward and propel your business forward, you're going to get there. I mean, you got to. It's inevitable, you know. So I hope you guys had a good night. Um, some of you that are on this call, if we're not friends, it's uh, Marie Sardelli Ottaway. You can find me, um, whoever's um, upline you're under, or myself. Just send me a message, and I will help you, and I will post this recording um, in the group. So you guys have a good night. I hope it helped. Bye, guys. Thank you. Everyone's, like, blocking their pictures. I can't see everybody. <laughs> Who are these people? Hey, Heath. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Amanda.